superheroes, misunderstood, outcasts, held in place we cannot tell anyone the truth, they are heroes too. They would rather stay as part of the tribe, belong, calling those ready to leap mad. Do we crack and break the system made for us? Rules give people purpose, can you tell them what they know is a lie? Inattention, who are we without purpose? Nothing? Something. Begin, this amniotic gyration is primordial, creating an inflationary universe, the unknown it's intoxicating. Take that breath, your first breath. Inhale, exhale, you're alive. Wake up, it's revolution. Black, White, Grey is a show comprised of a triple bill of hip hop dances, each named after the black, white and grey of the title. The show is created and performed by Boy Blue Entertainment, a dance company who has been building a relationship with the Barbican Centre since 2009 and has performed many of their other acclaimed pieces there. The show is directed by Michael Mikey De Asante and Kenrick H2O Sandy, the latter of who also choreographed the show. The first dance of the evening, White, was performed by three dancers and the intensity of the performance really drew me in. The way the lighting, designed by Lee Curran, was used helped to show the restraints of being in a system that isn't working and is refusing to change, as the rectangle became the only space that the performers could dance in. The second piece, Grey, was performed by the entire company of dancers, that's five males and three females. The dancing was so slick and clean and it was clear how hard they rehearsed and the amount of thought they put into choreography to have elements of repetition but also a sense of newness and though they worked in unison you could see their individual dance styles also shining through. The motif of having people entering on their backs, sliding, almost swimming uh, was entrancing to watch and I really liked how that kept happening. The final dance, Black, had clear influences from African tribal dance both in the music and the choreography. You could see the progression from White where the choreography was full of strict isolation to the final dance of black where there was a lot more freedom and spirit in the movements. It felt like there was a bit of like improvisation and freestyle and it just felt a lot more happier rather than the intense start that the evening had. A moment which really stood out to me in this final dance was one of the male dancers kept falling and fainting, so being propped up by his fellow dancers. This to me signified the idea of death. The dancers then wrapped him up in a red cloth, almost in a saint-like martyr way, which I just thought was really interesting, as well as the idea to use the colour red and to bring material into the piece. Also using UV glow-in-the-dark paint was really cool, as it was not only painted on the faces of the dancers, but above them there were some masks brought down which also had them on. It just added a bit more set to the piece and this idea of collective and colour because previously it had all been quite bland and very bare on the stage. Overall I had such an amazing time seeing Black, White, Grey at the Barbican Theatre. The dancers were so talented, the choreography was so slick, I couldn't keep my eyes off them, the emotion was so raw. I had an absolutely incredible time. The show is on until the 21st of January, which is this Saturday, so you've still got an opportunity to see it if you can, and I do recommend that you do. So that's it, this is my last video review for the Barbican Young Reviewers, and I've had an absolute blast seeing a range of things that I never normally would have picked, like seeing Star Wars for the first time, and going to a concert, which I've never done, and finally rounding it off with a dance piece, which has been really, really nice. If I'm allowed to do a cheeky plug, if you want to follow me on Twitter to see any other shows and things I go to in my thoughts, you can follow me there. And make sure you subscribe to the Barbican YouTube channel for more Young Reviewers reviews and other content from the centre. Make sure to tune in next Monday for another one of our reviews.